I'ma cry for a hundred nights Cause I knew it was do or die, do or die, do or die. Word of God, that's my 45 And I'ma keep it on my side when the devil stop by and that's real Cause it's a fight out here Good evening and welcome to this special edition of our show. It was about a year ago today that 16-year-old, unarmed, high school student Timothy Moore was fatally shot by 30-year-old police officer Damian Walter. As the country waits on the grand jury's decision, here with social commentary we have attorney Matt Englehart, radio show host Brad Copperman, political activist Kate Simmons, and friend of Damian Walter, Fred Whitaker. Now, Fred, you don't believe that the grand jury should indict police officer Damian Walter, do you? You know, I don't. In fact, I believe anyone that does is not reading the facts and is just listening to the bull that the media has been feeding you over the past few weeks, and that's unacceptable. Damian was just doing his job, and if a thug like Timothy Moore had come okay, up... Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. What about Timothy? Can I finish my point? Can I finish my point? Hey, hey, let him finish. Thank you. Now all I'm trying to say is, I have known Damien for a long time. He is a great father, and he would never have pulled his weapon and used it unless it was absolutely necessary. Damien Walter was a trained police officer. Timothy Moore was an unarmed teenager. And let me say that again, unarmed. So if your little friend felt like his life was in danger, there were other solutions that did not involve shooting a teen and leaving him in the street for hours after the incident. And, and, and what about Timothy makes him a thug? Was it the way he walked or talked? Or was it really the color of his skin that makes you and Damian Walter completely disregard of his, his life? He had no control over how long he was out there. And Timothy Moore was just a thug that threatened a police officer. That's who he was. The facts are the facts, and you can't change the facts. Fred, hold on one second. I want to hear from Brad and Matt. Matt, what do you think is going to happen with the grand jury outcome? Wow. Well, Dr. Duke, I've been a prosecutor and have worked for the district attorney my entire legal career, and any one of us could tell you that you could indict a ham sandwich. So I don't see why we shouldn't be indicting Officer Damian Walter. He's going to have his case heard by a jury of his peers, and they're going to decide whether he's going to be guilty or not guilty. However, if the grand jury makes the decision not to indict Damian Walter, I wouldn't be surprised, but I would be very curious for the reasoning behind that decision. Yeah, it's like Matt says. I'd be surprised if the grand jury chose not Sorry to indict. Sorry about that, Brad. Could you just delve a little bit deeper into what you're saying? Why wouldn't you be surprised with that decision? Grand juries tend to favor the police officer, and indictments in police shootings are actually incredibly rare. And I think you can't ignore the race factor in, in this incident, and the police's history in these incidences, and the race. This is not a black and white issue. This is a right and wrong issue. Now, police are out there every single day. They're trying to take care of people. They're trying to protect you. They're trying to protect your family. I just don't understand why we're even having this conversation. Okay, hey, hey, Fred. Brad, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think you were getting at the fact that there's a history of police brutality against certain races, and this incident is highlighting it more than ever. Yes, Duke, you're exactly right. The grand jury's decision is going to highlight race no matter what. There was nothing racial about what happened here. Timothy Moore should never have been where he was. That is funny that you should say that, seeing that you have racially insensitive posts all over your Facebook, talking about the incident and calling Timothy Moore names so ridiculous that I will not repeat on your show, Duke. The facts are the facts. Can we just stick to the facts? Now, what I write on my Facebook page has nothing to do with anybody. Hey, hey, Matt, what were you going to say? Regardless of your personal feelings towards Timothy Moore or Damian Walter, there's absolutely no excuse to be mocking a dead teenager, especially seeing how hard it has been for Timothy Moore's family. It's, it's, it's absolutely unacceptable. W what if this was your child? But it wasn't my child. What if it was your child? Hey, Katie, 
Uh, let me ask you a question, and you can answer yes or no to this. Mm-hmm. In your book, did you or did you not describe your hatred for the police by stating that you'd like to take an NYPD officer and torture him? I do not have to answer that. Yes or no, kid? Yes or no? It's a I do not have to answer that. Whoa, whoa. Guys, I think we're getting a little bit off topic here. Let's get back to Damian Walter and Timothy Moore. Brad, Brad, she don't want to talk about that. She won't answer it. All she wants to talk about is poor Timothy Moore. No, let's talk about you and your lack to see the truth. If this incident were reversed and it was a white police officer that shot shot an unarmed black teen, are you going to sit here and tell me that your ass would not be an uproar? You know damn well you would be. Who the hell brought us in here in the first place just to shoot us, kill us now while, while we started to defend ourselves? You're right. You're right. And we should have left your bird shit ass there to begin right. with. That is whoa, unacceptable. Whoa, whoa. That is unacceptable. No. Thank you, Frank. Some truth is finally coming out. People get to see who people like you and your friend really are. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, everyone settle down, okay? I know tempers are high and everyone is very passionate about this, but let's all just try to give each other some respect. Duke, I feel like I need to clarify. I was not attacking race. I was attacking Miss Simmons' ignorance and belief that I would have felt differently just because the, the tables were switched. People like her can can rationalize all they want to, but the facts are the facts. Damien was simply doing what he had to do in the moment, and I commend him for that. As a matter of fact, all of us should commend our police officers because they're putting their lives on the line in the way of danger every single day to protect us. I'm glad that you brought that up, actually. Um, I wanted to talk quickly about the current state of our police force. Matt, people have been criticizing the current training of our police. Is there a cause for concern there? Well, Dr. Duke, of course there is. People are concerned and have every right to be. We feel as if a 16-year-old unarmed teenager has lost his life for no other reason than the color of his skin. I've said this before and I will say it again. Being a police officer is a hard job but it is an easy one to get. And right there is where I see the problem. Absolutely, Matt. No one here is here to discredit the importance of the police force. When tragedies like this happen, we need to do better. We need to strive to do better. This type of tragedy it shouldn't happen as often as it does. Well said, Brad. I just want to thank everybody um, that came out today, attorney Matt Engelhart, radio show host Brad Cooperman, political activist Kate Smith, Mom, why are you watching this crap? Because I love this show, and they've actually been following the case. I want to see our justice system actually serve justice. You really need to be watching it with me. I'll pass. We all know that it's going to get off anyway. You don't know that. Times have changed, son. It's been a long road, but things have actually gotten better. Why? Because we have a white president? That doesn't mean anything. The cops are still going to do what they want to and will continue to do so. Don't talk like that. You want to know how much nothing has changed? Get online and look at the comment. That's all I'm going to say. Jeremy. Okay, okay. I'm done. So who else is coming next week? Everybody. They're so excited that you got accepted into North Carolina. Your Aunt Carol old booze yourself asking why you wanted to go there for. <laughs> and what would you say? You know I had to tell her off. First off, that you got into a college and on a full ride. Second, if you want to go to a HWCU, you can go to a HWCU. You know she weren't trying to hear the truth, so she got off the phone. Ma, oh, you're crazy. So, um, where are you going tonight? Just out hanging. Hey, what up? I, I'm coming out. Be safe and don't you be out all night. I know, Ma. I love you. Love you too, and boy, don't you play with me. What up, Playboy? Yo, Tony told me North Carolina accepted your dumb ass. Hell yeah. Yo, my boy got in, so we turning up tonight. Yeah, for real, congrats, fam. We gonna cut up tonight. Man, you know Kim got it, and it's that gas, bro. We was dumb high last night. You ain't feel me Yo, you know he's still going after Kim. He didn't even hit me up. Wait, 
You still on that shit? Man, look, I've been putting in that work. Y'all just wait and see. Fool, she ain't gonna give you time of day. That's a homie. That's what I've been telling this dude. She don't want you. Get over it. <laughs> Man, fuck y'all. Anyways, y'all heard that new Jared Sanders? Yo, he be going in. Uh, he aight. Man, you tripping, bro. Yeah, Top five, top three in my book. Yeah, Y'all riding his dick a little too much. That's all I'm saying. All right, I can't relate to the dude. He's a great lyricist, but I can't, I can't do a whole album with that guy. All I'm saying is that if he was white, nobody would care. But because he's black rap, he gets more shine. Man, my radio, so shine on this. Deep town, it's a waterfall. Carroll City, it's a hurricane. Whether cold winter or the summer. Congratulations, I heard about North Carolina. Thanks, sis. Man, even though we don't know how his dumbass got in. <laughs> Dumb boy, ain't this your second time being a junior? <laughs> right? <laughs> Man, fuck y'all. <laughs> Who is this gas rich been talking about? Yeah, where's this thing going at down at night? Uh, over at Big John's. You know his mom's not gonna fuck. True, his mom do let him do whatever he wants. Y'all been following the show? You talking about the uh, Timothy Moore case? Yeah. Yeah, my mom was watching that Dr. Duke show. Uh, I ain't been on it like that, though. Yeah, I've been on it. No, the evidence is clear. They gotta indict him. Plus, the dude's story don't even make sense. I know, right? He had shots in his armpits. Like, bro's hands were up. He was reaching. What was he reaching for? These nuts? He was unarmed. Yeah, we all know what it's gonna be like anyway. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. But come on, he's gotta go down for that. <laughs> I'd be surprised. Nah, I'll take that back. I'd be very surprised if they indicted him. Y'all know how they do us. We all thugs that deserve that kind of shit. Well, I'm a thug, you dick. Shh. Boy, stop. <laughs> Look. One of them cops, one of them good old boys, wants to try to make me a victim? Man, fuck that piece shit. I'm gonna give him a reason. So you're gonna shoot a cop? Really? Yeah, man, you wild. Look, if I'm holding and I feel like my life's in jeopardy, it's him or me. What are they gonna do anyway? They go put you in jail. And you know what's gonna happen to them if they dead me? Nothing. That's what. So fuck it. Jeremy, it's good you leave him. You don't need no influences like Rich. We got about another hour. We gonna need another Rilla. Yo, you grab me in Arizona too while you out? Alright. Yeah, why is your boy still trying? You know what he ain't gonna get? He's acting like he still got a chance. Alright, getting a drink, honey. Get a pineapple game, please. One oh five. I'm all set. Thanks. Thank you. IDs right now before I send both of you to jail. What you say to me, boy? IDs right now. Are we being detained? Shut the fuck up. Are we being Give detained? Give me your IDs right now. I ain't gonna say it no more. IDs right now. Are we being detained? Shut the fuck up. Show me your motherfucking Yo, you IDs can't do that. right now. Oh shit. Shit, man. Fuck you, man. You fucking shot him. You pig motherfucker. Get down right now. Shit, Get down man. on your knees right now, motherfucker. Down. Yo, you never fucking got, man. Jeremy! Jeremy! Used to play around with super soakers. Now you get wet when he shoots, shoots.